Hello everybody. Now this is, I believe, is going to be one of the most strangest videos I've ever made on my channel. Well, most of my videos are, are strange, but I am capturing, I think, a moment of history here. And I just thought I really want to get this on, uh, on camera. But as you see, we are in front of Wembley Stadium. And in around about half an hour's time, there's going to be a bunch of 22 guys, Manchester United and Chelsea players, young lads. They are going to be playing an FA Cup semi-final of 2020. Now normally, I... Uh, wow. <laughs> Even just turning around just then. Usually what I do, I make, over the years, I've been doing this for years, I've been making sentimental videos of fans um, at semi-finals, FA Cup finals, playoff finals, and um, usually what you'd see about now, half an hour to kick off, or 45 minutes, you would see thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of fans, families, friends, all together going to the game and, you know, making their way and the atmosphere is just electric. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a playlist below so you can see like some of the like Wembley, uh, you know, uh, videos that I've made and there um, there's loads of them and there's I've done them since about 2013. And yeah, they're just capturing moments of fans just going to enjoy themselves. So, you know, in the UK today, there is a semi-final going on over there, which is behind closed doors. I saw the footage yesterday of um, Arsenal beating Manchester City. And, you know, I saw it on, um, on the TV and it just looked so surreal because it just looked like a bunch of lads on a... It could be like watching a bunch of blokes on a, a, a pitch in a park, you know, because with no atmosphere, with no fans, even in, in the Great Wembley Stadium, it just seemed so surreal. You know, it, it just seems so strange that it was this incredible moment where, you know, Arsenal were going through to an FA Cup final, which is one of the, you know, biggest games in the, on the football calendar around the world. And there was no one there to sort of share the, the joy with. It just shows you, I think, that fans do make football clubs, you know. Uh, it's the most important part of a, of a football team is the fans. Like I said, if, if there's no fans, it just seems like... a obviously very talented blokes just kicking a football around on the pitch but um, yeah you know it's just really really strange so I just wanted to capture this moment where it was a big big game at Wembley and apart from probably I think some shoppers here no one's allowed in the stadium so you can't see it at all um, but yeah I just wanted to capture this moment because I've got a funny feeling it'll be a one-off and um, you know probably the FA Cup final itself there'll probably be no one there. Um, but my reckoning is, you know, maybe this time next year, maybe they'll let 50% of the people in. But who knows? Maybe, maybe they'll let people through on every other seat or whatever. But let me know your thoughts on what you think and how do you reckon it's all going to be. But at some point over there in that stadium in there, there's a, two teams there who are playing for um, a final you know, a place in the final of the FA Cup, so, you know. But you know, I've got another interesting question for you. For years and years and years, they've been doing the semi-finals here at Wembley. And um, obviously, you know, the safety first after Hillsborough. Um, I remember Hillsborough very, very well, watching Grandstand at 10 past three on, on April the 15th, 1989, and, and just wondering what was going on when I saw the TV screen. Um, but do you think that maybe they could do semi-finals like maybe I don't know for the north of England at Old Trafford or maybe for the south of England at Tottenham's new stadium do you think playing two games at Wembley kind of takes the the, the kind of the cream off the top of the the, the joy of Wembley the, the special the specialness if there is such a word of Wembley let me know what you think could they start doing the semi-finals at the bigger Premier League grounds now and then just a one-off game at Wembley let me know your thoughts, but uh, you know, I did like I said, I always wanted to capture this moment and thank you ever so much for watching of uh, where I'm focusing on, you know, the stadium where and the game where no one came. So, you know, 